Are you curious about the power of AI and how to harness it on your computer? Well, get ready to be amazed, because today we are diving into the world of Llama 3.1. Hi, I am Daniel, welcome to my channel where I make smart tutorials. In this video, I'll be showing you how to run this incredible language model locally, without needing an internet connection. We'll walk you through the setup, explore different interfaces, and unlock the potential of AI right at your fingertips. Also, I've left all the useful links in the description down below, so don't forget to check them out. So, stick around and let's get started. Llama 3.1 Tutorial Today, we are going to take a look at installing and setting up a Llama. This is a large language model that you can install on your computer and use locally without an internet connection. The Llama 3.1 model is currently very popular especially the version with 8 billion parameters. If your computer can handle more demanding tasks, you could install the 405 billion parameter version. But it will take up significantly more storage space and much longer to download. Now let's explore three ways you can use Llama 3.1 on your computer. Just so you know, Llama 3.1 is a language model from Meta AI similar to the ChatGPT AI Assistant. It was developed by Meta, Facebook's parent company. However, instead of using it online, we'll focus on models that we can download directly to your computer. So, what do we need? First, we'll download the model itself, using a specific application that we can install and run locally. You can download it from a website called Olama. The app is multi-platform, so it works on macOS, Linux, and Windows. Simply select the version for your operating system, download it, and wait for the installation to complete. Once it's unpacked and installed, you can launch it on your computer. After launching, you'll see the model running in the Olama tray, indicating that it's active. On this website, we can install and choose the version that best suits our needs. For example, the Llama 3.3 model is available with 70 billion parameters. But unfortunately, my computer isn't powerful enough to handle it. So I'll be using Llama 3.1. You could also try Llama 3.2, which offers options for 1 billion or 3 billion parameters with various configurations. However, for now, Llama 3.1 with 8 billion parameters is the most practical choice. As it runs smoothly on almost any computer, you'll need to copy this command and run it through your terminal. A standard terminal is available on Windows, macOS, and Linux. So, open it, paste the copied command, and the Llama 3.1 model will begin downloading. Keep in mind it's not small, about 4.9 GB. If you choose a model with more parameters, it will obviously require significantly more space. The remaining time is about 7 minutes. Let's wait for the download to complete. Once it's done, we'll see how it works. The download completed really quickly, faster than the estimated time. Now we're at 100% and the accompanying files are unpacking. Once we see the success message, the Llama model will start automatically. When it's active, we can interact with the model in the terminal. To enter a command, use the slash symbol at the beginning. For simple messages, like asking about its features, you can type them directly into the terminal without any additional symbols. I've asked the question, what features do you have? Now, the Llama is generating a response directly on my computer. The speed of this process will depend entirely on your computer's performance. We've got this response. I can be used in a variety of ways, from helping you plan a vacation to creating art. I'm here to assist you with any task, answer questions, and provide information on a wide range of topics. It's a concise two-sentence answer that explains the model's features well. 
However, working in the terminal isn't very convenient, is it? A user-friendly interface like the one ChatGPT has, where you can save dialogues, would be much better. So the first thing we'll do is exit El Lama in the terminal by typing the command buy. Make sure to do this step, as skipping it could cause issues later. If you don't exit Llama properly, it will remain loaded in your computer's memory. To work with an interface similar to ChatGPT, we'll need an application called Docker. Docker lets you install and run containers directly on your computer. Download the version compatible with your operating system, install it, and open the app. Then go to the container section. Next, we'll use a website called Open Web UI to set up Olama and launch a web interface based on Web UI through Docker. Here's the code you need to copy. If Olama is installed on your computer, simply copy it, then open your terminal, paste the line, and press Enter. However, remember to type the buy command first, otherwise things won't work correctly. After clicking Enter, the model will install in Docker, and the new container will show up right here. So what's next? Head over to this address, 308080. If you are not registered, you will be directed to the registration page, where you can quickly sign up. Once logged in, you'll see that two versions of Llama are installed on your computer, and both are ready for use. Guys, let me take a little break to ask you to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free, but helps me make even more fun tutorials for you. Thanks. Here, just like in ChatGPT, we can type the request directly. Let's ask the same question. What features do you have? And wait for the response to generate. Once again, Llama runs through our computer just as it did in the terminal, so it uses the resources and power of your device. Here's the answer, showing how we can use the language model. It's quite similar to the response we received earlier. As you can see, this answer mirrors what the terminal provided. The difference now is that we have a web interface and chat history. Everything still works with the Llama model, installed on your computer. As we can see in the address bar, we are using a localhost address. This means we are running a local server and not connecting to the Internet. In other words, to use this model, we don't need an Internet connection. We can do everything locally on the computer. There is also a third way to run Llama on our computer. Using the LM Studio AI service. To do this, we need to download and install their application. It's a cross-platform tool, so it works on various operating systems. Simply download the app, install it, and then run it. Once it's downloaded, unpack it, and you're good to go. In this application, we also have access to download the Llama 3.1 language model with 8 billion parameters. Let's download it. We can either run a local server to access Llama's features through the browser, or we can use the built-in chat in the LM Studio app, where the model is already loaded. We'll ask the same question. What features do you have? As you can see, it provides us with a fairly detailed answer. This is another way to run the Llama 3.1 language model locally, so we can use it without an internet connection. Final thoughts. So, there you have it. We've explored three different ways to run the powerful Llama 3.1 language model right on your own computer, without needing an internet connection. We started with the Olama app and terminal, then moved on to a more user-friendly web interface using Docker, and finally we checked out the LM Studio AI service. Each method has its own advantages, so you can choose the one that best suits your needs and workflow. If you're excited to try it out, or if you have already used it and have some thoughts to share, drop a comment below. 
I'd love to hear your experiences. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.